Hey, Coach Rye here from Team Flex. We're diving in to tell you exactly which division you should be doing, which one you should be competing in. A lot of women have a hard time figuring out, do they want to compete in bikini? Is it wellness? Maybe it's figure. Maybe it's beyond that. But today we're going to talk about between bikini, wellness, and figure, which division it could be right for you by doing an in-depth analysis of each division, you know, what the judges want to see, and pretty much what you could expect to pretty much line up by the end of the video, your goals, and you know, you'll have a good idea, like probably 100% actually which division you should go into and which one you should probably aim for to compete if you want the shortcut because this video gets pretty in-depth pretty lengthy uh, hit the link below and take my division quiz and I'll tell you exactly which one to do or if you're a nerd like me and you want to learn every single thing there is to know about each one of these divisions continue on in the video you're looking at the screen I'm gonna start drawing for you we're gonna start here with bikini Okay, so this is a Bikini Olympia winner, and you know, at the Olympia, we're going to be reviewing actually all Olympians, all the top Olympians here um, for each division, and that's because this is the way the judges set the criteria, all right? This is how they set the tone to say, this is the standard of the division, we want this to look this way, and that trickles down all the way though, that trickles from IFBB all the way to NPC, all the way to your first show, okay? Doesn't mean you need to look like these competitors I'm about to show you to compete and do well, you don't. But it does send in the best way a message from the judges to say, that's the criteria, that's the example, and we want to see that coming to stage at every level, okay? So understand that first off and let's dive in. So what makes bikini bikini is the hourglass shape, all right? And this starts with, you know, uh, upper body width that tapers down into a narrow waist, and that's really what starts that first top portion of that hourglass. Then we move to the lower body and boom, right here, we widen back out. And then that's what's going to create that base of the hourglass. So judges want to see 100% bikini, this hourglass shape. They're looking for that hourglass aesthetic every time, every pose, every position you're on stage. That's what they want to see. And so we'll look at the front pose. We'll look at the back quickly. I don't want to make this the world's longest video, but there's lots to say about this. Uh, so we'll do these quickly for each division and we'll get moving on tell you, you know, exactly how you can figure out your division and where you should compete. Uh, but it all starts with the hourglass. And actually this comes from muscle groups, okay? So to get this width up top, this actually is going to come from a bunch of upper body muscle groups the shoulders for example okay you'll notice that the shoulders in bikini they're rounded they're well developed they have this shape to them uh, this comes from actually trying to get that effect okay it comes from training each head of the deltoid that front delt that lateral delt the rear delt we'll see from the back that's really how you get that roundness and that's kind of what creates from the start the width of the upper body okay um, as far as arms go in bikini it's not a huge focus judges however are always looking for symmetry so you probably don't need an entire arm, uh, bicep specific day doing 28 exercises of bicep curls but you know it is something where the judges want to see symmetry so you want to keep that in mind when you're training for bikini keep your arms as symmetrical as possible to the rest of your frame but the shoulders you definitely don't ever want to get your arms into a spot where you know it's overpowering the shoulders so the shoulders are really in this front pose very very important and we'll see in the back pose just how important they become there too now this tapered look first things first you gotta understand the waist has got to be tiny gotta have that tiny waist that's bikini all the way the tiny waist coupled with the dramatic effect of the shoulders that's what creates this tapered look and creates that kind of hourglass aesthetic the judges are looking for. Now, your lats are definitely something that can help that too. You can see that a little bit here in this front pose. Uh, you know, having a little bit more width to the lats aids the shoulders in creating that aesthetic, that tapered look that judges want to see. All right, so the waist, you know, there's a number of things you can do for that. There's a lot of ways to draw that in. You're not going to want to be doing a ton of uh, ab training. It's going to make your waist blockier, things like that. Now, looking lower body, okay, here's what we see. Uh, this is basically the base of the hourglass shape, and this comes from building muscle. So glutes. Glutes need to have fullness, roundness, full development in order to recreate that shape. You're not going to get that shape, you know, um, without training glutes very specifically. And the upper glute is an area judges always are looking for. And one they're always telling me when I'm talking to a lot of the top level judges, they're always kind of telling me, you know, that upper glute is super, super important for competitors to uh, be making sure they're hitting. Because remember, judges are below you. And a lot of what I'm saying is relevant for every division. So, even if you're like, I want to do wellness, get to wellness, coach try. this is relevant. Judges sit below you, they're looking up. So what they're going to see is from a different angle than we're seeing straight on in these photos. And that's why the upper glute becomes important because if you don't have it, 
glutes flatten out, okay? And you're not going to see it from the same way. Now, you'll notice here uh, the rest of the lower body is pretty just proportionate. We're going to see the quads, just some slight shape and development here, some soft lines, and some hamstring, okay? It's nothing too crazy, though, where it's to the degree of, you know, it's... Uh, Super developed. There's a lot of development going on. Um, you know, it's in the capacity where anything's out of balance. That's what bikini's all about. It's all about balance. So let's just pop to that back pose real quick so I can highlight all these same features for you and we move forward to wellness. Okay, so looking here, you'll see this tapered look. All of this comes together. Taper at the waist, the width up top. That's the hourglass there, the hourglass lower. Everything that I just said on the front. It's going to be pretty relevant for the back, okay? So shoulder development, got to have that roundness, that fullness. Arms that don't overpower it, the lats that help taper us in. And then, of course, you know, the narrow at the waist, that's really important. Now, bikini, you know, they say is one from the back. And the reason is um, pretty much because we get to look at the glute and the hamstring here, okay? Now, this is where we get to see exactly what the development of having the glute does, that upper glute specifically. It really creates this roundness effect up top where judges are going to be looking for this and they want to see this and that's what they're looking for to make sure you have the proper level of development. Another area that we always hear about is the ham tie-in, okay? Everybody's always wondering about the ham tie-in. This isn't a specifically scored zone per se. Uh, you can have a really strong tie-in. You can have a softer tie-in. This athlete, for example, has a softer tie-in and uh, she's miss olympia so that should give you guys an example but really what a tie-in comes from is having proper glute development coupled with the hamstring development there is no tie-in muscle specifically to train to get that look okay and also let's not forget conditioning is a factor now you see here though hamstrings don't overpower you see slight shape of the quads maybe from the back but nothing true to uh <laughs> true dramatic too dramatic is what we're talking about okay so that's really bikini now bikini is generally a good division for women that like this type of look um they prefer the smaller frame the more symmetrical frame they don't want to you know ever kind of get out of this zone women that prefer being in the smaller side of a physique all the time that's really what bikini is about for the most part you have the muscle you have the shape your ideal basically is creating the hourglass and uh keeping everything in perfect symmetry upper to lower period Period. that's the goal it's not overly muscular not overly developed and not overly conditioned bikini has that softer level of conditioning so you know it's definitely lean don't get me wrong when you go to stage you're going to be lean but it's it, compared to other divisions uh, up the chain for women's divisions it's it's the softest level of conditioning for the most part so you know if you do you want to stay relatively lean year round and pop into bikini shows from time to time make muscular improvements improve these zones and you just like the way it looks this could be the division for you, okay? Uh, let's look at wellness now, okay? So wellness basically is the newest women's division, um, and it came off the framework of bikini. So that's kind of why we started there. And I'm really not going to dive ultra deep into the wellness here. I'll tell you exactly what the judges want to see and what this division is about. But a lot of it is similar to bikini, so a lot of what I'm going to say might sound pretty similar, okay? So let's look. So wellness athletes, uh, basically what makes wellness wellness is what makes wellness wellness is uh, basically this hourglass shape with an over dominant base okay that's really what makes wellness wellness okay so look at I keep saying it so looking for everything from the uh, upper body up that's pretty much bikini right we're gonna see rounded shoulders we're gonna see that development that comes with it not a huge focus on the arm development we'll see that lats we'll see the taper at the waist all of those same things as bikini it's pretty much for the most part uh, on par with bikini you know as the judging criteria sits even so that's really what wellness is in comparison to bikini everything upper body is pretty much on par with bikini now lower body everything below the waist is where we see what makes wellness this new category this division that a lot of people want to get into this is a lot more uh lower body hypertrophy a lot more lower body muscle all around you're gonna have bigger quads you're gonna have bigger glutes you're gonna have bigger hamstrings you're gonna have all of these be you know to the level far beyond bikini okay wellness by the way is the only division where there's asymmetry uh you know we talk about bikini being totally symmetrical when we talk about figure you'll see that same thing all muscles and symmetry wellness is the only division where they specifically want you to have more lower body dominance than upper so you literally want to be out of balance you want to be bottom heavy for the most part okay so wellness what really does this it's the big quads it's that sweep of the quads it is the super development of the glutes and also like i mentioned before that uh upper glute zone very important in wellness also for the most part you can think of it as a lower body dominant version of 
the bikini division, okay? Now, from the back post, this is where you see exactly why wellness is wellness in its own division. Uh, this back pose looks nothing like bikini athletes um, from the waist down at least. For the upper body, it's all the same things we talked about, guys. We're talking about the shoulder roundness. We're talking about that taper. We're talking about everything coming in together. And there it is to be the perfect, you know, upper body tapered look, that balance, that physique. And then lower body is where we are wellness now. So lower body, you can see a lot more uh, development here overall. Just a ton more glute development, tons more hypertrophy tons tons of depth that's what creates this hard tie-in by the way we see this and you might think okay this athlete's way leaner than the last one no their conditioning is pretty much the same body fat wise uh what makes a difference here is the muscle when you have a lot more muscle pressing up on the skin it really pulls through the tie-in so that's what we're going to see here a lot of glute development coupled with a lot of hamstring development that creates the tie-in to a level that is just on its own level okay that's why they had to make wellness be its own division they said wow we if, if women want to have that lower body muscle or maybe they already have it you know uh we got to make a division for them and that's what we see and you can see just how much the quads are developed here by the fact that we can see the sweep of them from the freaking back pose okay so wellness gets its name and it is the whole new division a lot of women love um because of this look now wellness would be a good division for you ladies out there if you're trying to figure this out as wellness the division is a bikini is it figure you want to know it's going to be if you prefer that lower body dominant look if you are the type of woman basically you know you want that symmetry up top you like that tapered look that kind of uh, classic top portion of the hourglass um but you want a very large lower body like a hypertrophy lower body you want big glutes big quads big hamstrings that's wellness. Wellness would be that for you. And, you know, um, what I've seen with a lot of successful athletes I train is uh, they, they usually have some type of athletic background. A lot of times that's what I see. They've been lifting weights for a very long time. They're in the zone where they already had a lot of muscle development. And then they come over into bodybuilding and they say, okay, well, I already have this base. I want to build this frame and get this wellness look. Okay. If you want to be wearing leggings year round because none of your pants fit. Wellness is the division for you, okay? So you might consider that. Let's look at our figure division now. This is our last uh, division out of these three that I want to talk about and kind of compare. Now, figure automatically, you'll see, does not look like bikini or wellness. A lot of people thought initially when wellness was coming out, it was going to be similar to figure, blah, blah, blah. No, it's not, okay? Figure is its own division with its own look. Now, what makes figure figure? is the V taper look. We've talked about V taper a little bit in bikini and, uh, you know, wellness, that tapered look. Figure is what defines the V taper, okay? This width up top of the shoulders down into this very narrow weights. Boom, boom, that's our tapered look. That is what figure, that's what makes figure figure for the most part. Judges wanna see a dramatic V taper and they wanna see that be uh, because of certain muscle groups. So you see the shoulders, they're so developed in figure. It's like, you know, it's almost like cannonball deltoids, if you will. Like very large, very developed, very rounded. And with that, that creates that width right out the gate. You also see a lot more focus on the arms here as well. Biceps, triceps, they're a bigger focus in figure for sure. But again, not to the point you'd want to detract uh, from the shoulders. Lats, huge, huge focus in our figure division versus what we were talking about with bikini and wellness lats are humongo you want to have that width you want to have that depth though too very important we'll see that when we get to the back pose and then there at the waist this is just you know what we see across the board with all three of these divisions but really getting that narrowing effect coupled with that dramatic width up top that's what really creates that taper and makes figure figure now lower body wise this is where things get interesting okay quads are developed you definitely have a strong focus on quads you'll see the conditioning factor of this division is the biggest difference so we'll talk about that more in a second but uh you know having the quads and that shape the outer quad in quad all of that it's got to come together literally you can see all heads of the quads on this athlete and you know the glute development everything every muscle in figure is in perfect symmetry that's the goal it's literally up to down to left to right all across the board any muscle group you look at you should be able to look at the physique and say okay that is you know muscular it's all there but it's also in perfect symmetry across the board so that's what we see in figure division that's really what makes figure figure now again i'll talk on that conditioning this is a far leaner division than bikini and wellness bikini and wellness conditioning is pretty much on parts pretty much the same for the most part 
Um, what makes figure actually a lot different though is the leanness factor. So you would never want to see these lines, these splits in the quads and these types of things on a bikini or a wellness athlete. So it's a lot more muscular overall. You have to have more muscle than both of these divisions, uh, bikini and wellness. You also have to be much leaner. So for those of you out there that like that leaner look and you like being lean and you also like being jacked, you like being, you know, this taper, you like walking around with that tapered look. The figure division could be a good division for you. Let's look at the back and we'll see a lot of the similarities, same things we've talked about, but this is where we get to see for the most part just how developed everything is. So you can see literally this athlete's rear deltoid right, is like so hypertrophy just sticking out in your face. That is what makes figure a whole division of its own is this roundness, this fullness, this cannonball delt that's perfectly rounded all the way around. That's really a thing we don't see in these other divisions. You know, bikini wellness have that development, but they don't have it to this degree. Same with the arms. And again, the back, I said the lats, huge important factor here. And uh, we talked about the width being important, but also that depth. So you see these muscle depths here. This comes from a lot of back training and training very hard to actually get that, you know, kind of projection outward towards the audience and the judges. That comes from a lot, a lot of lifting for a long time to really get that density. Okay, so all those are very important. Now, lower body, here we go. Now, this is where uh, things kind of change, you know. Bikini and wellness, big emphasis on glutes, and less so in figure. Got to have the right glute shape. You got to have, you know, the development. This is all important, but it's not the same factor. A little bit more squaring of the glutes here. Not as round, not as, um, you know, developed as wellness by any means uh, or anything like that. They're a little bit more squared out, and they appear that way because these athletes are at a lower body fat percentage. A lot of the roundness of the glutes we see in bikini and wellness actually comes from muscle built, um, you know, coupled with body fat, in other words. And in figure, since you're so much leaner, you literally get like an anatomical look at the glute muscle, which is more squared out. So you'll see that on these athletes, but again, all in perfect symmetry. And uh, moving down to the hamstrings, this is where you get some of those striations again, because these athletes are so lean. But again, not hypertrophy like wellness. We don't see that huge quad sweep or anything else from the back. So figure is a great division for any women that want to basically, you know, pack on a good amount of muscle to their frame, stay relatively lean or constantly chase the shreds, okay? That's really what it's about. Getting that dramatic tapered look, building muscle to a, a larger degree, and also always being, you know, in this kind of conditioned shape for the most part, because, you know, with all these divisions, really, you don't want to do the bulk. You don't want to add too much body fat in the uh, improvement phases, in the off seasons, because if you do, it's going to hurt you when you try to go cut again. But figure especially, because you got to be so much leaner. You know, these athletes are generally going to stay in pretty good condition, uh, condition year round and make sure that they are going to be able to cut when the time comes okay so that's really what breaks down these divisions for the most part I mean in, in a nutshell quick short and easy bikini smaller framed less muscle uh, a lot more you know shape there you're getting a lot of nice hourglass effects but it's nothing to the degree of like wellness where the lower body is so developed so if you like wellness you know, that look and having the lower body be so much bigger, more developed, go over there. And also, you know, figure it's more muscular and a lot leaner. So there's a division for everyone. And hopefully this video made sense and kind of gets you some ideas into the insights and what the judges are looking for and which division is right for you. Um, I actually did also put together a quiz for you guys. If you want to do an exact quiz, like you're checking this out and you're like, whoa, this is great. Coach, I just so much information in this 20 minutes, man. Come on. You're killing me. Go take my quiz. This is a shortcut. Take the figure division quiz. Take the, uh, it's actually, <laughs> it's not, it's none of those. Take the actual um, division quiz. It's bikini, figure, and wellness. We talk about all of them and basically just answer some simple questions and I'll tell you exactly which division you should be doing for, training for, and going to. Okay, so that would be the shortcut. Go over there and do that. Otherwise, I hope this video was helpful to you. You'll find the link for the division quiz right down below where you can pop in, take that quiz, figure out the right division for you, and also I'm giving you guys training tips and other things like that in that as well, depending on your results. So huge thing to gain of that. That, definitely make sure you check it out it's right down there below and uh, it, it, it's a great way to figure out exactly what division to train for got a lot more cool content coming at you guys so make sure you're subscribed thanks for watching give me a thumbs up coach Ra is out